So like that, 
exactly what is the example of super glue based approach is nothing but our general toy video game where in our uh, kids will play the video game already or the uh, age of teenage people are playing the video game it is the remotely attached to the graphic display to the display the graphic on the screen we are using a remote to the further function of like pubg game or anything using our uh, video game card or video game remote we are using so in that we have pre programmed to the particular pins if left is pressed this application should happen in the display if right is pressed this application should if top is pressed this application if down is pressed this application should be so we have pre programmed to that so in the pre programmed means what left right top bottom Particular video game. So then, what it happens with the execution is easier. Whenever the key is pressed only, that task is going to happen. Whenever key is pressed, the task won't happen. So in that approach, it is good. So what is the example? So there is a another drawback in this uh, super. Why we are going to OS based approach? So there is a drawback for this super based approach is nothing but here we are assigned task from one to nth task. In between, any task is going to fail. So if this task is going to fail. Then total uh, or design approach is going to fail. So that is a one of the drawback in a super loop based approach. And then there is another drawback for the super loop based approach is that if this task are going to increase, then the events which are uh, events which are executed on the processor it takes more time to execute the operation. So that is the second drawback in our uh, uh, super loop based approach. So in this. All the instructions or the jobs are executed in a serial order order. So that is one of the uh, apply one of the drawback in applications, and this is a function of super loop based approach. Whenever we are coming to operating system based approach, so in our operating system based approach, what it happens in our operating system based approach, where it is purely so the operating system may be classified into two. One is a general purpose operating system. Next is the real time. So the uh, first is the general purpose operating system, and next is the RDAS. So, so the OS based approach is of two types. One is general purpose, second is real time operating. When it comes to the general purpose operating system, general or desktop PC, how the R processor is uh, done, and we are installing some you know, parameters, some drivers, some apps to work. So based on the device levels, it is going to work. When coming to real time operating, completely different from the general purpose operating system. Here, it is real time operating system is purely based on time. The main factor for using the real hard task in our current market or any real is time. So, based on the time only, our real time operating system is going to work. In this real time operating system, we are using some scheduling algorithms. Scheduling algorithms. So, in the scheduling algorithms are what is the At the same manner, uh, we are assigning the, how we are assigning. 